Hello students, welcome back to the channel Easier Learning with Divya. Students, in the previous video, we have understood how to compare like factions and unlike factions. In today's video, we will understand how to add like fractions and unlike fractions. Look at an example here. Add 2 by 9 and 5 by 9. When you observe these two fractions, here the denominators are same. You know when the denominators are same, it is called like fractions. So when the denominators are same, you will just add the numerator that is 2 and 5 and write the answer. See how? So 2 plus 5 will be 7. And the denominator remains the same. That is 9. So when the denominators are same. Yes. You will write the denominator as it is. Whenever you are adding like fractions. Simply add the numerator when it is like fractions. And write the denominator below as it is. Below the so here it is like fraction as the denominators are same. So you will write the denominator as it is and you will only add the numerator that is 2 plus 5. So 2 plus 5 is 7. Yes and 9 remain as it is. So this is how we add when the denominators are same. Then how do we add when the denominators are different? Look at an example here. Here we need to add 13 by 20 and 8 by 15. Here the denominators are It is 20 and here it is 15. So when the denominators are different, you cannot add the fractions as it is. So what you have to do, you have to change this denominator into like fraction. You have to make it same, the denominator same. So how do we do that? You will have to find the LCM of 12, 20 and 15. So students, we have already learned how to find the LCM of the given numbers, right? The same way we will find the LCM of 20 and 15 now. Twenty, fifteen. 15. We have also learned the test of divisibility. So we know whether the numbers are divisible by a number or not. Right? So whenever you are finding the LCM of the given number, you have to start with the smallest prime number that is 2. So here we will start with 2. 2 10 times will be 20. But 15 is not divisible by 2. Then, then what do we do? We write the 15 as it is. So right here as it is. Next again 2. What times is 10? 2 5 times is 10. And again, 15 is not divisible, so you, you will write as it is. Next, 5 and 15 are left. So, 5 and 15 both are not divisible by 2. So, we will move on to 3 tables. Three, 5 is not divisible by 3, but 15 is divisible. So, we will take 3, 5 as it is, 15, 3, 5 is 15, write 5 here. Then 5 is divisible only by 5 because 5 is prime number. So 5, 1 time is 5 and again 1 time is 5. So as we read 1 at the last, we will stop finding the LCM here. Now we will have to multiply 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 to know the LCM, right? 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. 
So LCM of 20 and 15 is equal to 2 into 2, 4, 4, 5 is a 20, 23 is a is 60. So LCM of 20 and 15 is 60. As we have got 60 as LCM, now we have to change the denominator to 60. How do we do that? See here. First fraction is 13 by 20. Here 20 3 times will be 60. So here also at the numerator's place it remains the same. Okay. So 20 3 times is 60 as LCM was 60, we change the denominator as 60. As we are multiplying the denominator with 3, the, with the same number we will multiply the numerator also. So 13 3s are will be 39 and 20 3s are is 60. Next, look at 8 by 15. So 8 by 15 also same. 15 what? 4 times is 60. So, with the same number we will multiply the numerator also. So, 8 posa is 32 and 15 posa is 60. So, we got the denominators as 60 here in both the fractions. So, in both the fractions, if it is 60, then it becomes the like fraction. Now, we will have to just add 39 and 32. The denominator remains the same, that is 60, right? Here, we got the equivalent fraction of the given fraction. 13 by 20 is nothing but 39 by 60, 8 by 15 is nothing but 32 by 60. So, we will have to add. So, here we will be adding 13 by 20 and 8 by 15 which is nothing but 39 by 60 plus 32 by 60. As the denominators are same, the denominator remains the same and we will only add the numerators that is 39 plus 32. So, 39 plus, plus 32 will be 71 and the denominator remains the same. Now, when the numerator is greater than the denominator, it is called improper fraction, right? So, When you get the answer in improper fraction, the fraction has to be converted into mixed fraction. How do we convert into mixed fraction? We will have to divide. Yes, here 60, 71 divided by 60. 71 divided by 60. 60, one time will be 60. Right? 1 minus 0, 1. 7 minus 6, 1. So, the remainder is 11. Here, the quotient will be the whole number and remainder will be the numerator. Divisor will be the denominator. So, 1 is written here, 11 here and 60 here. Now, we converted the improper fraction into mixed fraction. Yes. So, when we add 20, 13 by 20 and 8 by 15, we got the answer as 111 by 60. This is how we add the given fraction when it is unlike.
So when you have to add the unlike fraction, first you will have to find the LCM of the given denominator. Then in the second step, convert the given fraction into like fraction. In the third step, you will have to add the numerator.